What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at Conor McGregor and his future in the UFC and who's lying between him and Dana White. There's been a lot of conversation about McGregor in recent weeks and they've both shared different opinions on the topic. So I'm here to get to the bottom of it. So things started to get serious about McGregor's return when he came out and said that he was going to be fighting June 29th at International Fight Week against Michael Chandler. He came out with this weird Twitter video, we all know Connor, and since then, a lot of people believe that, okay, Connor's fighting, International Fight Week makes sense. But when Dana White was asked about it, he said that that's not true and that there are no plans for McGregor to be fighting on International Fight Week. And there's no fight booked at all for him right now. To be honest with you guys, I'm not really sure why either. Like, what would be the reasoning for the UFC not to want McGregor to fight? I mean, he's still definitely the biggest star in the sport and would create a crazy amount of buzz with his return. So there has to be a little bit more to this. I mean, for starters, I think we can take Dana's word for something. And he said that McGregor's too rich. He's tough to negotiate with because it's tough to get money to him that would actually make sense for him to fight and he never said that Connor was tough to negotiate with or anything like that but because McGregor has so much money it makes it that much harder to put a fight together because there's so many outside factors going into it and the thing is with this too is Connor keeps saying that he just wants to fight and a lot of people around him are saying the same thing that Connor's actually training and that he actually wants to fight and we haven't seen McGregor in three years now I mean Granted, he took time off because of a crazy injury and he wanted to go make a movie. Okay, that's fair. But 2024, if there's a year for McGregor to come back, it's this one. There's no reason that he cannot fight this year unless of financial reasons with the UFC and with Dana White. But to be honest, for me, it made sense to have McGregor just come back at UFC 300. But he didn't come back for 300 and we have Pereira and Hill headlining the card. But for me, that would have been the perfect time to have McGregor come back. I mean, UFC 300, massive event, massive fighter in McGregor. It just, it was perfect, but it didn't happen and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So now we're left with potentially fight week, but Dana already ruled that out, even though McGregor said that he was coming back at that date. So it seems like Connor's just trying to push the UFC's hand and trying to force them to book him in a fight by just coming out and saying that he's scheduled for this he's scheduled for that but it just doesn't work like that the UFC is just not gonna bite if they don't have to and to be honest they're not going to because they don't have to the sad truth right now is that the UFC doesn't need Conor McGregor Conor McGregor needs the UFC more than the UFC needs McGregor and the UFC knows that they know that they're putting on crazy events month after month without Conor and without an expensive fighter like McGregor on the books so why would they want to bring Connor back and have a, obviously a very successful event, but it doesn't really mean that much in the grand scheme of things. I mean, they're putting successful pay-per-views together month after month. If McGregor's in the picture, sure, a couple of them might be a little bit more, but you're also having to pay a guy a lot more just to fight. They could just instead have a guy like Alex Pereira or someone else headline the card and get paid a million to maybe two million dollars and that's a lot cheaper than bringing in a McGregor who will probably demand anywhere between five and ten million just to fight so it's just it's simple business like why would you go and pay someone else to do something when you have guys already that could do that same job at the same level almost it just it doesn't make sense from the UFC's perspective which I believe is the main reason as to why we haven't seen McGregor come back yet. That's the only plausible reason I could think of. They just don't want to pay him the money that he wants to be paid, and they really just don't need him at this point because there are already so many stars in the UFC, and the UFC's booming. It's one of the fastest-growing sports in the world right now, and it continues to grow every single day. They're putting on successful events, so why do you really need Connor to come back into this picture? I think they're just pushing it off as much as they can, to be honest, right now. They don't know what they want to do with that, and they also don't know how much they're going to need to pay McGregor in the end. But don't don't get it wrong. There would still be big business for the UFC if McGregor came back. I mean, McGregor's still a very household name. Everybody's still calling him out. Elia Tuporia's calling him out. Guys at Lightweight are calling him out. Even Welterweight. So... 
I mean, finding a fight for McGregor isn't going to be tough at all. You've had Chandler, who's been waiting in the wings for two years and threw his career away, so I'm sure he's not going to be backing down from the McGregor fight anytime soon. So opponent is definitely not going to be the issue. I don't think weight's really an issue anymore either, especially with USADA out of the picture. Connor can really fight wherever he wants. I mean, he could probably... He'll probably fight at 170, I would imagine, on his return. Maybe 155, depending how much he could slim out. But either way, he could fight in any division, and there's going to be an opponent in whatever weight class he decides to fight in. I also wanted to quickly address the whole new weight division thing that's going on right now with the 165-pound and the 175-pound division potentially coming into play and the 170 division being scrapped. People have also been saying, well, maybe they'll bring McGregor back and have him headline an event fighting for one of those titles in one of those new weight classes and it would kind of make sense but I don't know McGregor would still be skipping line in front of a lot of guys there who would probably be worthy to fight for either of those belts so I'm not too sure that would happen and who even knows if there's actually going to add new weight divisions in my opinion the system's not broken anyways I think 170 is fine so adding all these extra belts it's going to start making it feel a lot more like boxing where there's about a new belt every two and a half pounds so I do believe Connor is telling the truth, though. I think he does actually want to fight. I don't think he'd be saying all this stuff if he didn't actually want to. A lot of people were saying he's just staying in the public eye and just still trying to create buzz and he's never actually going to come back, which I could also see, but I do think he does want to come back, at least for a couple more fights. I don't think the Mac is done yet. I don't think his story is done, and I think we need to see him in the UFC this year in 2024. As for Dana White in the UFC... I think they might be lying a bit here. I don't know if it's that hard to put on a McGregor fight as they're making it seem. Yes, Connor is going to demand a lot of money, but it's not like the UFC doesn't have that. Let's be honest. They could pay McGregor if they really wanted to and put on a great card for him. But I think there's also other outside factors contributing to this, like the USADA stuff. Also, Saudi Arabia is calling for a UFC event there, and they said they want Connor McGregor to headline, which is going to be tough to pull off. But... Saudi's been controlling the sports world, so if they were able to get a McGregor fight done, I wouldn't be shocked at all. And also, I think that Dana ultimately just doesn't feel the need to rush McGregor back. He has plenty of stars on his plate. The UFC is booming, it's successful, and they don't really need Conor McGregor right now. And that's just the sad reality. Connor's also been talking a lot about fighting Manny Pacquiao in a boxing match, so don't be surprised if that doesn't happen at some point too. Even if McGregor were to come back this year, I think he maybe has about two UFC fights left, and that's it. His contract's running down, and while I'm sure the UFC would like to re-sign him, Connor's just getting up in age. He's got that type of money that if he's going to fight now professionally, it's only going to be for exciting fights, and obviously a legacy fight with Manny Pacquiao would probably get him excited and that's something he'd be interested in doing so yeah hopefully we see conor mcgregor in the ufc in 2024 against michael chandler at some point there's going to be a lot of moving factors and a lot of things that play into it but i'm still hoping that we get that date and we get something announced for either june in international fight week or later in the summer early fall at the latest the absolute latest we really got to get this going chandler is dying over here he's at over three years out of the ring he needs to get back in there he needs to make some money so please have this fight happen sooner rather than later so there you guys have it those are my thoughts on this whole conor mcgregor dana white saga let me know what you guys think, though. Do you think McGregor is really that anxious to get back in the octagon and really wants to fight as much as he says he does? Or do you think that the UFC is just so far from Conor right now and they really don't need him as much as they used to? And that's why they don't really care to rush to put a fight on for him. Let me know what you guys think. I always love hearing your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, thank you all for watching another one of these videos. If you enjoyed consider liking and subscribing to the channel always helps me out a ton and next week we have ufc 299 which means we're going to be pumping out the content once again for this amazing pay-per-view and i'm super excited for it so if you like this video you may like some of those other ones coming out in the next week so yeah thank you once again and i'll see you in the next one